Hey, and what's going on? Um, I hope you guys are excited because this time we're going to actually start doing something, well, something kind of neat. We're going to actually start plotting things and creating figures and what have you. Well, anyways, why don't we get started? And, of course, as always, this is your 15th tutorial, so, you know, but anyways. Alright, um, so we're in the command window in MATLAB. And let's say we want to go ahead and create, start by building a figure. And this figure is going to be, we'll plot a sign function as an example. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and start doing that. Figure 1. So that command, figure 1, creates another window and corresponds to figure 1. This is our current working window. The last, the last figure you reference, which was figure one in this case, is going to be the figure we're working with. So, let's see. What next? All right. Well, there's a couple things we can add to this plot that we're going to create. Um, we give it a title. So the command for that is simple. It's just title, and we'll call it a plot. Press enter. As you can see, we have a plot here, some generic general axes given to us. But the title here is a plot. And we can label our x and y axis. Say if we wanted in meters or feet or what have you, all you have to do is type in x label. And, well, just have to write something in there. Um, I don't know. This is the x axis, I guess. And as you can see, our x axis is now labeled. We can also quickly relabel it, I suppose. X label. But it's the same for the y axis. Just change your x values to y. And again, I'm just pressing the up arrow to go back to the previous command. So now we have a Y label. Hope I spelled that right. But, okay. So now we want to plot something. And a common way to do this is to utilize that, um, that function we've been seeing a lot, linspace. So let's go ahead and call our linspace function. And, well, we'll call it we'll create a variable called x, a multi-variable called x, a multi-valued variable called x, lin space, and we'll provide it, or have x correspond to the values between 0 and 1, and we'll utilize a thousand values between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1, of course. So press enter, you get a bunch of stuff on the screen, because there's a lot of numbers, thousand, but now we have we have x a vector with a thousand values between our including zero to, to one and let's go ahead and create our y component and the function in MATLAB um, sine which is in radians provides us the value of sine for whatever radians we give it as an argument so Let's say we want one cycle plotted for sine. What we can do is we can plot 2 pi, which is one cycle, and multiply that by our value x, which is between 0 and 1, and that will give us one complete cycle to plot. So y will correspond to 1,000 values, because x is, contains 1,000 values for the full cycle between 0 and 2 pi degree radians. Press enter. Get a whole lot of numbers on the screen again. And again you can suppress that by utilizing uh, the semicolon. So if we want to plot this now in our figure, all we have to do is type the word plot our x values, our y values, close parentheses, enter. And as you can see over here now, we have our complete one-cycled sinusoid, or sine. 
And, uh, well, it appears that we lost our labels in our title. But we can get those back. X label. And since this is in radians, we'll type in radians. And we can put Y back in, of course. And this is just the magnitude. So I'll just say mag. And just for completeness, we'll put the title back in. A single cycle of a sign. And voila. We have a figure over here. Got all our nice descriptions. So this this is pretty much how to uh, create a, a plot or a figure in MATLAB. Um, there's going to be a whole host of tutorials regarding um, different types of plots and how we can further format these plots and do different things, like even change the font size and color, all sorts of stuff we can do with these figures. But um, this is just a quick introduction to how to plot things in MATLAB. And again, the last figure that we typed in, we typed in figure one, right? Well, the figure that we're working with is always the last figure that we enter. If we created another figure, and then we were to try to plot something, pressing up again. So, there it is. It'll place it in the current working figure. So that's figure two. Anyways, exciting tutorial. First getting introduced to uh, figures and plotting and all that great stuff. But um, until the next one, this is what you're going to uh, have to play with for now. And I guess uh, I'll see you then. All right. Take it easy.